Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will see one of the most important topic named version management. So let me give you the brief description about the version management. When the version management will trigger and why it is necessary for the industries. See, let me tell you one thing. Uh, when we used to create the PO or the PR, if the system, if the PR or the PO has been released from each and every department, then if sudden, if it is required any kind of changes or like we have to increase the quantity, like we have to decrease the quantity or any kind. So in that case, the version will trigger. That means what? See, in the uh, it will show you that the version 0 was this and what kind of changes we have did so the version 1 has been generated or if do if we do any changes again in the same PO or in the same PR version 2 will impact so like this kind the version will act so let me show you uh, I have already created one of the PR and 53 and which I have released See what's the document type it is a ZNB. So what I have to do it is required some config see and it is it has been released from every department. So it is required some little config. I'll show you the version management config slash n o l m e or you can go through the SPRO path slash n SPRO SPRO path IMG reference. Here, material management, purchasing. See, we do have the version management. First of all, we will have to set up. See, uh, this is the what's the document type? It is it is NB. And what we have that uh, what uh, what's our document type is ZNB. What we have to do right now? Just copy it. ZNB is our document type. Yes, and what are uh, the fields which we uh, need to maintain as required entry or the optional entry suppose posting that what I am doing the suppressed field and it is having op um, uh, optional entry external number ok requester optional entry short text required entry ok and reason also required entry that's enough and just save it the TR is being generated now we can go see the ZNB has been triggered uh, created now what we have to do define reason for change see the system has already some standard reasons which we have which already has been created let's suppose I'll create a new entry triple zero two change in change in value triple zero three change in quantity just save it the two reason I have created now go to back now here the version relevant field for purchase requisition execute this see the document type NB has been given by the system and it's a standard so what I have to do I have to just copy because it is showing the field name also a table and the document type what i have to do i have to just copy from the standard just select all click on copy what's the document type i do have znb correct enter znb everywhere
why i'm doing this because this all will work for z and b document type also if i'll not assign the version will not work control save so from the config part i think it has been completed and we'll have to check in that particular pr whatever i have showed you that i have already released so let's check it out let uh, let it be save first so data has been saved right now what we have to do we'll have to check slash n me 50 52n go to me 52n now here what i will do i'll do one thing just we do have the 20 quantity i will make it as a 25 quantity let's check it out whether it is working or not so what is what he is asking enter reason for change okay because we have made it we have make it mandatory so reason for change is what reason is reason change in quantity and text just for testing purpose test so this is how we can say that our uh, that version management is working right now right so whatever the configuration what we have did uh, so it is correct and based on that uh, we can work on the pr religious strategy in my next upcoming video i will upload the release process for po and then after that i will upload for po version management right and if you do have any query related to uh, that uh, particular video please do come please do comment in the comment box i will definitely reply okay and uh, thank you thanks for watching my video yeah one more thing i just forget to say after the version uh, if we if the version will trigger the released pr it will be convert into unreleased and the same process again we have to do for the release that means uh, the pr will again move to each and every department for releasing purpose then only they will uh, check it out that what kind of changes we have do it and, uh, we have did and uh, for which version they are releasing right so i hope you like the video if you do like the video please hit on like button and uh, please do subscribe my channel so that you will get update while i upload the new video Thank you. Thanks for watching.